Hello, hello everyone, Katie here, and I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of like a sketch me video, but with Posca's, and I just dropped one actually. Oh, no I didn't, okay. So I had got this Posca pin set sent to me from one of my close friends, Katie, uh, Peculiar Katie over on Instagram, and she sent these to me for my birthday, which was like the most generous thing in the whole entire world, and it is a set of these 15 lovely colors. Um, and then I also have, from, like, art subscription boxes, I have a Uni Posca in a, like, brush-type fashion. And then lastly, I have, whoops, I have a green one with, like, a really tiny fine point, which I thought it would be fun to kind of play around with these and get a feel for them, maybe do some cool art, maybe do some bad art, um, and just have fun, do a little sketch me video. I'm just kind of coming off of a convention thing, and I don't really have any other videos, so I thought a sketch with me would be really fun. Also, I want to do these more. Um, I really enjoy sketch with me videos just watching, and these are kind of videos where you can just pick up your own pencil and sketch with me. I don't know. So I am actually going to go grab a canvas really quickly, and uh, we're going to get to painting or drawing or whatever you consider these things. Alright, so I have these two canvases. I have this like heart-shaped one that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I also have this like rough textured one that is a U.S. art supply one, and I thought I would test all of these markers like out on them um, and just kind of doodle around. So we're going to start with the small one. And I have no clue what I'm doing here, so I'm just going to go ahead and let you know that I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah. <laughs> um, I have heard that Posca pens are really great on canvas, so we're going to try that. I've tried them on paper and they tend to tear up my paper, and I don't really like that, so I want to try them on canvas, because canvas is a little stronger. And these are canvas panels, they're not, like, actual canvases. Uh, let me think of something to draw, and then we'll start. Alright, so let's start doodling. So, um, I've been playing with these quite a bit, and they're really fun, and I really enjoy them, so thank you, Katie, for sending me these. I'm going with no reference, which is always a very terrible idea, but why not, right? You can probably tell what I'm drawing. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Um, I was actually going to buy more colors of these at Blick when I went, but they had only the colors that I have, and I didn't really want to buy repeats, so... I didn't, <laughs> which is a shame. I actually wanted more colors. I guess I could have bought them in different types, but oh well, it's a little late now. I don't have a Blick in my my country, my hometown, so it's a little late now. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to grab a reference really quick. So. The one thing I think I have the most trouble with right now with these Posca pins is actually blending them. Um, they're a little difficult to blend, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a new medium that I'm not used to. And once I get used to them, I think I might do like a review on them or something. I think that would be fun. Um, but yeah, they're not really that bad. I actually quite like them. And I've never tried blending them on canvas, because this is my first time using them on canvas. So, we will see how that all goes. But, so far so good. Um, I've got an actual reference here, so I'm not going in completely blind. Um, you know what, let's add some purple, because why not, right? It's not like it could hurt this picture. And then, let's try blending it out with this pink and see what happens. Alright, not my favorite effect, but that's okay. I do know that once you start, you get the tip all dirty, uh, so you will have to, like, scribble it off. But that's okay, I can add shading somewhere else. Actually, you know what? This isn't so bad once you get used to it, the blending. I kind of like it, actually. It's like painterly blending, and I really respect anybody that can do painterly blending because 
It always looks so good. Oh, it doesn't look so bad, actually. I kind of want to pick up some more of this and just go right under here and right down. Now I'm glad I tried this because I really like it. There we go. I suppose that's enough blending for one day with that. Um, oh, don't mind my cat. She's being crazy. And we're not going for photorealistic, so we're just going for fun, which is always the best type of art. Am I right? Oh, and he's kind of cute. Of course, you have to let these dry because they are paint markers. But, um, I think I'm going to start a circle. Well, should I do a circle or square? I guess a circle. And don't mind me, I can't draw a circle to save my life. Okay, it's more like an oval. <laughs> eh, it's a fine oval, I guess. I think the thing I like the most about using canvas right now is it's not tearing up the canvas. So, that's always nice. And I also just love the matte finish of these when they dry. Oh, it looks so good. So, if you are drawing along with me, I would be more than honored to see it if you want to share it with me. Uh, you can share it with me uh, with the hashtag SquidoodlingWithKatie on either Instagram or Twitter. Um, I will see it because I track the tag, but if you also want to tag me in it, that would be awesome too. Um, ooh, this will be fun, filling in. A large location. I actually really like these tips because they're good for detail, but they're also really, really great for um, filling in. I mean, you're not going to get the tiny, fine detail, but they're not terrible for detail at all, and I really quite enjoy them, especially for filling in areas, let me tell you, because this would get annoying if I had a tiny, fine tip, and I actually have one um, right here. I'm this would not be fun for filling in areas. Not at all. Hey, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to add something in this blue circle when I'm done. Yeah, Flamingo was not on my top of the to-do list today, but, I, you know, I don't, I'm actually quite surprised. I really like this little dude, or chick, I guess, little Flamingo. I think they're cute. And it's always funny, I, I actually really like Flamingos. I think they're just cool creatures in general, but I never think to draw them, so. Hey, one for stepping outside the comfort zone. You know, I know Posca, they've been like on a hype train for a while, but I've never really hopped on the hype train until I got these. Thank you, Katie. Uh, and I just love them. What the heck? They're so good. And Canvas by far is my favorite, favorite, favorite to uh, put these on because oh, it's so nice. Alright, 
So I'm going to let that dry for a moment. And then I'm going to actually add a little white highlight to this little flamingo, flamingi, flaming girl. Maybe a little bit of white on the beak. Then I'm going to let this dry. Oh, this is fun. I like this. Um, another thing I want to do is use my brush one because I don't use this one enough. Oop. Okay, well, we lost the cap. And outline this oval weird thing. I really like these brush poscas. And you know what? I was going to add something to the background, but I don't think I am anymore. But I'm going to try to blend this a little bit. Yeah, I don't think that's going to blend very well. Well, maybe. You know what? It's not that bad, actually. You just have to make sure you go back and forth over it. So yeah, I think it's easier to blend with the uh, brush Poscos. Which honestly doesn't surprise me much, because I find it's easier to blend with brush markers in general. But that's just my opinion. My onion, if you will. Ooh, I'm really digging this. Except I'm going to have to brush this off a little bit because it's caking up with a lot of uh, extra light blueness. Hey, that's pretty cute if I do say so myself. Alright, so I did a lot of this off camera, so whoops. But uh, here's my finished flamingo piece, all signed and stuff. Now let us move on to the next thing that I was going to do. Uh, and that's this giant heart. Um, I thought it would be fun to make something for my house, but I have no idea what I'm going to make. I have a general idea, so we shall see. But... Yeah, I don't know if this is going to hold up as well as the canvas panel did uh, because this is made out of like, I don't know, it feels like paper mache or something. So we'll see how it all goes. But I am still excited to kind of experiment and uh, work on that. So um, the last one I kind of talked through and did in real time. I think I'm going to speed this one up a little bit and voice it over just because this one is a larger and um, yeah, I'll probably take more time on it. So uh, I will talk to you in a second <laughs> whenever I, um, you know, uh, do the voiceover and all that. But I hope you enjoy, and then I'll come back for some final words. So now, like I mentioned, I'm starting on drawing on this little paper mache heart thing. I, again, I really don't know what this stuff's made out of, but uh, I quickly found out that this is really not the best for Posca pins because, and you'll see it later, I'll show you later, but uh, it peels up the whatever this is made out of really badly and I just decided to go with it and decided to brush them off later but also it absorbs the Poscas like crazy like they dry pretty quickly like if you want to get smudgy effects you really have to work quickly which I thought was pretty interesting because even on paper these would sit on top and um not absorb very quickly but on this, they did. Um, so you'll see, I tried to get some blending and stuff, um, but again, I have to work really quickly just because it dries really fast. But all in all, I 
you know, I had fun with this. It was a really good challenge for me to break out and do something a little different with both pieces. You know, I don't normally do landscapes and I don't normally draw animals. So I thought it was just like a fun little change. And of course, it's almost fall time. So I thought I would do like a little fall scene because fall is my favorite season. And I am very excited for it. So I do have a question from the video. What is your favorite season? Like I just said, mine is fall. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what your... My husband's is winter. I don't know if you heard that or not. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm finishing up this piece, but you know, I had a lot of fun and I'm glad I decided to do one of these sketch me videos or why do I keep calling them sketch me videos? They're sketch with me videos. <laughs> anyway, all right, here is past Katie to take it away and finish up the video. All right, so now that you've seen the speed paint of this and you kind of sat along and sketched with me with this one, uh, I hope you enjoyed them. They were really fun. Um, I learned that this canvas or whatever it is was not really suitable for these Posca pens. Um, if you look at it up close, you can kind of see the little nubbies uh, that it created. It would pill up the uh, canvas texture or whatever. Um, and the markers didn't really go down as smoothly as I had wanted them to. However, canvas is where it's at. That, from now on, when I do Posca stuff, it's going to be on canvas because that stuff is amazing. But anyway, here are the two final pieces. I want to thank you so much for uh, doodling along with me if you did or just watching the video in general. I hope you had fun because I certainly did and I hope to do more of these sketch with me videos in the future. Uh, I find them really fun and I don't know, I just love doing them. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of the Squid Pod, and if you aren't a part of the Squid Pod, there is a subscribe button down below. If you click that and you ring the bell that is next to it, you get notified on when I upload new videos, and how cool is that? What's not to love about it, right? Uh, anyway, if you are already following me on my social media, there is links in the description to where you can go check those out, as well as links to my store and my Patreon if you want to go support me over there. I would really appreciate you checking those out. So anyway, until the next video, toodaloo!